Uh, George, you very kindly offered to step in for a, a very tired Tom Haynes tonight. Thank you. Um, just give us your perspective of, of where we are going to this final day. You know, we save this game. Yeah, I think there's no beating around the bush. We're definitely behind in the game, um, but the wickets played very well for the last uh, three days, um, so there's no reason why it won't play that badly tomorrow, um, and we can bat 96 overs and, and get a result out of the game. Um, obviously, we were going very nicely, and then suddenly, you know, a, a pretty significant collapse. You guys sort of had a, a discussion about what happened there. Were there any particular reason that? that we lost those wickets so quickly? Yeah, I guess it, it did start spinning after lunch um, and they bowled pretty well. Um, but I think on that kind of wicket, once you get yourself in, then you can really cash in. And I think a few of us got ourselves to 10, 20 and then got out um, playing maybe a shot we didn't need to or got ourselves out, not the bowlers getting us out. So I think we reflected that in the changing room. Um, hopefully we can put it right tomorrow um, and really big, build big partnerships like they did. Um, you're out there now with uh, with Tom, um, who you know what seasons he he's had, uh, at, and in this game a, a new career best, approaching the top of the, the championship run scores, and not far off a, a thousand runs. Just a, just a word for Tom, who is looks like a, he, he needs a good night's yeah, sleep yeah. in the dressing room. Yeah, he does. Um, he's been fantastic all season, hasn't he? Um, he's been kind of our, our leader as as an opener. Um, he's always got through the new ball pretty well and set us up to score big runs. Um, I think he's taken on leadership roles even at the start of the year before the captaincy really well and I think it's matured him a lot. Um, he come out this season and yeah, really put his foot down and put, put his name on, on the cards. And to get to the close today, not out, I mean, I think being out for all but five overs of the match, <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of people get big first inning scores and then, you know, they're clearly cooked in the second. That shows an incredible mental fortitude. Doesn't yeah, it? definitely. It shows his mental side right up there as well, not just his talent, um, which I think he's worked on incredibly hard. He's always been very talented um, since he was 16. Um, he's won awards for being talented, but now he's putting his mind right as well and he's, he's proving everyone in the country what a great opening batter he is. And what's he like as a captain? Obviously, uh, it's be your first time playing under him, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, having known him since he was about 12, it <laughs> is a different dynamic. Um, but he, he's good. He likes um, asking for feedback. Uh, he knows that he's not the finished article as a captain, um, and he's learning learning it as he's, as he's going. So he's more than welcome to get feedback and ask advice from Brownie, myself, Keeper, any, anyone that really has any, any input they like. Um, but he's good. No, I enjoy it. Um, he's firm when he needs to be, speaks well before the game, speaks well during the game. Um, and yeah, captain leading from the front with the bat always helps as well. And he's always had a good sense of humour. Is, <laughs> is he keeping that out there? Yeah, he's, he's still got that. He's, he's still an idiot when he needs to be <laughs> off the pitch. But no, he's brilliant. And then just looking ahead to tomorrow, um, what will your game plan be personally? Uh, you're out there at the moment. I think just playing a normal game, having a set game plan to the spinners. I think that would be the main threat tomorrow with how they bowled today. Um, Seamers getting through those, making sure you knuckle down and work hard, um, and having a kick, uh, clear game plan, but making sure that you impose yourself on the batters a little, uh, on the bowlers as well. Um, you can't let them settle into spells and let them bowl big spells. Um, but yeah, just go out and have some fun. And not a pitch that you know makes it impossible to last the day. No, I don't think so at all. I think um, the ball hasn't spun too much from straight either, uh, which is encouraging for us. Um, and. Uh, You've seen through the last three days that there's some big scores out there. Um, it just takes some, some mental strength and a little bit of luck and you can really score some big runs. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.